Welcome back. Now that we have uh, loaded our first molecule, I would like to show you a bit about uh, preferences inside Samson that you might want to use on uh, some graphics cards, for example, to improve performance or to just change the visual aspect of, um, of Samson. So to modify preferences, you either go to the Edit menu and select Preferences or use the Ctrl K shortcut. So preferences are organized in uh, several categories and anyway this might uh, change as we uh, improve Samson based uh, uh, on your feedback. Um, and right now the categories that you have here are colors, fog, labels, lighting, shadows and structural models. So I'm going to go through them one by one. I'm going to clear the view first. I'm removing this. I'm rearranging here and I'm taking this opportunity to show you a little trick in Samsung. In some, on some windows you have this lock icon that you can use to keep a window always on top. So I'm gonna check, click this lock and now this window is uh, always on top whenever I click, even if I click outside it. So what I want to do is modify the colors, for example. I can say that I want a black background. And I can test this option without saving it. A white background, a custom background. I can say, I can change these colors selection color and overlay color, highlighting color. So the highlighting color is the color that is used whenever I go over a node in Samsung, which helps me see what node would be selected. So I can change this highlighting color. For example, let's choose a, a green to make it more visible. Test. I could also change the selection color once a node is selected in the same way. And I can change the outline color. Let's use white for example. Depending on your own tastes. I can reset everything to go back to the original settings. And something that might be helpful on some graphics card if you're experiencing some uh, weird lag in the display, for example, is to completely turn off the outline opacity. So the outline the outline is this uh, black outline that I have here surrounding a highlighted node or selected node. I can choose to turn it off completely, in which case the rendering might be much more efficient on some uh, some graphics card. So if you are experiencing some delays, some lags, some uh, very low frame rates, please try to deactivate the outline opac the outline by uh, setting its opacity to um, to zero. Then another thing you might want to try is changing the fog parameters. So if I so the fog is uh, what makes distant objects less visible. And I can change the near distance and the far distance, meaning the region compared to the position of the camera where the fog is enabled. So before this distance, there is no fog. After that distance, nodes are completely invisible. And this, is, this influences the speed at which the fog is um, appearing. So I can disable it first and then uh, everything has th the same uh, opacity. But if I uh, make the fog closer, for example 10 angstrom from the camera and I test, then I see uh, just uh, a thin layer of atoms uh, visible. Let's reset it. Labels, we'll come back to that. The lighting, you have two lights in Samsung. Uh, to light objects. And you can control the parameters of these two lights, A and B, changing the color of the light. Let's say we put a red 
orange light and another green light top. Okay. Uh, let's reset it. You can change the positions of the lights as well, uh, how much reflection you want. And you can change some global parameters, the effect, uh, the, um, the blue reflections that you have, or the background, more precisely, the background reflections that you have on the molecule. You can also activate and deactivate shadows and uh, choose the quality of the shadows. Again, depending on your graphics card, it might be nice to experiment with these parameters to make it faster. So for example, you could either completely disable shadows or just use a lower quality to have um, acceptable frame rates on your graphics card. And then in the final category, you can change the default parameters of these default representations of structural models. So changing the radius of the atom representation, so let's say zero, um, let's say zero 06 for example, and change the bone radius as well, or go back to the original settings. So that's it for preferences, again it might evolve, it will evolve uh, based on the modifications we make, again this is all um, Samsung 030, so it will evolve but please go back to preferences and experiment with these settings, especially if uh, you experience some uh, lag in your frame rate. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.